He promised he had more, and for the second time in a week, Mike Duffy held court in the Senate today and dropped some new and stunning allegations related to his expenses and the ongoing scandal around them. And they pulled the Prime Minister's office even more deeply into the story. The checks tell who's telling the truth and who is not. Duffy told the Senate there was not just one check written to cover his expenses, not just the one from Nigel Wright for $90,000. He says there was a second check written to him, this one from the Conservative Party's lawyer, to cover Duffy's legal fees. And as he did last week, he suggested there's more. Wait until Canadians see the email trail in the hands of my lawyers and I hope in the hands of the RCMP. The CBC's Catherine Cullen has our lead story tonight. Catherine. Wendy, as a journalist, Mike Duffy spent a lifetime telling other people's stories. Now, as a senator, it seems he has quite a story of his own to tell. It's a story in which he sees himself as a victim of the Prime Minister's office. This monstrous fraud was the PMO's creation from start to finish. For months, the focus has been on that $90,000 payment from Nigel Wright. Today, Duffy had another big revelation, saying there was another check. Nigel Wright arranged to have my legal fees paid. That's right. One check from Nigel Wright? No, ladies and gentlemen. There were two checks, at least two checks. Duffy had his audience gasping, and he had proof, a copy of that check for $13,560 that Duffy says was for his legal bills. Along with a letter from Arthur Hamilton, the Conservative Party lawyer, Duffy says, provided it. And Duffy wasn't done yet, though he was running out of time. Would honorable senators agree to another five minutes? Half an hour. We have more to come. We have more to come. Duffy went back to the repayment of the $90,000. We are going to voluntarily pay back my living expenses related to the house we have in Ottawa. Today, Duffy said that was a lie. That line was written by the PMO to deceive Canadians as to the real source of the $90,000. The millions of Canadians who voted for Prime Minister Harper and the thousands of Tories gathering in Calgary this week would be shocked to see how some of these people, some of these Tories, operate. And Duffy says he has emails showing that the PMO told him to lie, though he didn't offer any proof. About those legal fees, though, the Conservative Party says it wouldn't be unusual for the party to pay. At the time these legal expenses were incurred and paid, Mike Duffy was a member of the Conservative Caucus. The Conservative Party sometimes assists members of caucus with legal expenses, the party said in a statement. As for the Prime Minister's office, it's repeating the position it's held for months, that Nigel Wright has assumed sole responsibility for his actions, and, quote, the Prime Minister was not aware of the arrangement, and had it been presented to him, he would not have approved such a scheme. And there's still the debate at the heart of all of this, whether Mike Duffy, Pamela Wallen, and Patrick Brazo should be suspended from the Senate without pay. And it looks like there will be no resolution to that question tonight. Wendy? Thanks, Catherine. Catherine Cullen.